Well, it was more or less World Daily Mavodi's Day recently. The Ovation magazine boss got love shown to him from all over the world as he joins the Diamond Club. Let's check it out. The year 2020 was supposed to host a grand celebration and talk of the town festivity for Basharun Ayobami Dele Momodu, the publisher and editor-in-chief of Ovation magazine. As it is the year he officially joins the 60s club. <laughs> Now, as things would turn out, he proudly relishes the privilege of adding a new year. But the realities of the present puts pay to all the elaborateness that was supposed to usher in the new diamond age. Bob D, as he's proudly and affectionately called, has over the years earned a reputation of a life of the party personality, and many couldn't wait for an opportunity to party with him at his 60th birthday until the pandemic broke out. But the show must definitely go on, and so it did a base online. Zoom party to the rescue. It's my pleasure to welcome you to the 60th birthday celebration of Basharu Ayoba Midele Ututelego Ajani Momodu. I know a few of you can see me, and so it's a, it's a virtual party. You are going to pretend you're at a party. Now let's pause for a minute and take a look at the journey of this 60 years, and who better to take us through it than Basharu himself, Ayoba Midele Momodu. It's been a long journey, but I won't bore you with so much detail. I was born in the ancient city of Ilefe in 1960, May 16th to be precise. And uh, I did all my education in Ife, primary, secondary, university. My father had migrated from the old Midwest, in a, now a Edo state, to Ilefe, settled down in Ife, met my mom, and they got married. So, uh, after my education at the then University of Ife, thereafter, I worked uh, for the then Deputy Governor of Ondo State, Chief Akemo Budowo, as a private secretary. Uh, unfortunately, before long, the Buhari coup took place and all politicians were thrown into prison and my boss was one of those uh, uh, incarcerated. He was in uh, our prison. So I was staying in his house in the jail city, and I would drive to our prison almost on a daily basis to go and see, see him. Thereafter, I worked for the then only of IFE again, about Kwadeshi Jua Deolu the second. And, uh, but what I'm trying to build up for you is that it was like God had my path well laid out for me. Because everywhere I walked prepared me for the journey towards Ovesha. Back to the party. Can I please ask all those who are on right now from all over the world, uh, from Europe, from America, from Nigeria, from Brazil, from Ghana, please rise up, let us take the opening hymn. All hail the power of Jesus. Oh, Pastor Itwai Godalo of the Trinity House and other men of God conducted a special service in honor of the celebrant as family and friends joined the virtual celebration. The celebrant and wife, Bolaji, hosted guests from all over the world who made the occasion special for him. Daily, the Lord is with you and the Lord will be with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus, 
Sister's birthday happened to be around this time the whole world is sick. Yeah, I, I'm going to say that. <laughs> now, would you, uh, does this time call for a deeper reflection for you? I was planning something very big originally, you know, uh, at Bugro Eco Hotel. Then, when things were not going, I was, I, I was still a bit shaky. I said, no, we can't do something that massive, that okay, maybe we will use Orientals. Then eventually, I settled for Harbour Point. So I already had Harbour Point locked down for May 31st, because 16th, I was going to be with the family in London, go to church, come home, then have a, a, a party in, in the garden. But that was not going to happen. So I, I left it, and... Uh, I was, I was listening to new ideas, and you know, I'm very, very strong on social media. So I said, okay, let me look at it. So I read up about Zoom parties and how others have done it in other countries. And we said we're going to have the biggest Zoom party in Africa, and that we're going to trend in Africa and in the world. That was our mission. And uh, I believe we achieved it. In the last 60 years of your life, what would you say life has taught you? Uh, life has taught me so much in 60 years, as you would expect. But the number one lesson is that you must acquire good education. And by education, I don't mean going to school. Education means the totality of the knowledge that you have acquired. A lot of people believe that they, they would get a job if they go to school. But good education prepares you also for joblessness. So that if you don't have a job, so what do I do in the meantime? The other lesson I learned is about discipline. You must discipline yourself as a human being. Never do anything too much. Now, I'm going to take you back to the Zoom party again. Now, you may not have, you may not have celebrated the way you wanted to. But I guess you felt the love shown to you from the Zoom party, people could log in. Tell us more about it. In retrospect, trust me, I'm happy that I didn't do a normal party. A normal party would have been, there is nothing I'm going to do that I've not done before. For me, COVID-19, I've been the biggest beneficiary of COVID-19. You know, the Yorubas have a saying, uh, I don't know if you speak Yoruba at all, the out of a black pot comes the white pap. The path that we so God knew what He was doing when it provided for technology. I've not seen my children in the last maybe over two months. They don't miss me, I don't miss them because if you want to see them virtually, all you have to do, you can do WhatsApp call, you can do Zoom, you can do Skype. There are, so there are many options. It's like sitting in front of you. And what do you gain from that? You are saving money before we used to fly. My budget on flying alone in one year. You don't want to believe how much it was. We had planned all sorts of parties. And we were going to Turkey. We were going to Portugal. We were going to Brazil. We were going... Now, we're not spending all that money again. So, that's one. Then, business-wise, it means that you need to now remodel how you run your business. A family man, a well-respected journalist and friend to many, Chief Dele Momodu means different things to different people. And on the occasion of his 60th birthday, he gets a rare privilege to hear people's opinion of him. Leaders from across Africa also had a thing or two to say about him, even as the social media space joined in the celebration. President Muhammad Buhari led the pack through his media aide, Mr. Femi Adishina, and then followed by other African leaders. Bob D 
It really is a special pleasure for me to join so many other friends and compatriots across the nation and internationally to celebrate your 60th birthday. You have by any measure been an outstanding innovator in Nigerian journalism. I want to use this opportunity to congratulate you for achieving the age of 60. Thank and you, sir. To and to commend you greatly for the job you have been doing. You have made a lot of impact for people, especially the younger generations in this country. What do you want in a friend? The first quality you want in a friend is loyalty. And I can say well and truly that you cannot have a more loyal friend than Daily. And as I reflect on the person that he is, the impact he has made, and the way he has provided opportunities for many of his friends, including me. A really lack of words as to how to start. I want to wish Bob D and his entire family the very, very best of today. I want to wish Bob D, his four lovely big boys, his wife, um, happy birthday on behalf of my wife, Joker, and the entire people of Lagos State. We're indeed happy with what you have achieved, you know, um, as a detribalized Nigerian, as a true son of the soil, you know, as, as, an, uh, as a pan-Africanist. Goodwill messages also came from former Vice President Atiku Abubakar, Governor of Ogun State, Mr. Dakwa Abiodun, and the Chairman of Eleganza Group of Company, Chief Razak Okoyan family, amongst others. From all the encomiums you saw or heard people say about me, you will know that there must be something about this guy. 60 years is no joke. Uh, if I'm lucky to be 80, it means I have 20 years more. So even the 60 years that I have attained now is a privilege from God. A lot of my mates, a lot of my friends did not make 60. They didn't offend God. And nobody knows the appointed time or hour that you will leave the world. So every day you live, do great things, do good things, be nice to people. And that's it. A renowned columnist and publisher, Chief Dele Momodu saw an opportunity years ago and seized it. That gave birth to his popular social diary magazine, Ovation. Uh, when we started Ovation, don't forget I was in exile under the regime of General Sonia Abacha. And when that happened, we wanted a journal that will have entertainment and also have seriousness so we can also fight the military government. But somewhere along the line, one day we carried a wedding, just by chance. Uh, it was Patrick Kuchuni's wedding in London at the Landmark Hotel on Malibon Road, London. And when the story came out, everybody said, ah, you guys, you look like Hello. Hello Magazine, I'm like, eh. So I went and picked Hello Magazine and looked at it. I said, this looks beautiful. If we produce this in Nigeria, it will be a winner. Or we that we do very colorful weddings. Uh, even these Oibo people cannot do our kind of events, you know? That was how slowly but steadily we started. <laughs> Chief Dele Momodu also had the privilege of listening to virtual performances from prominent gospel artists like Laolu Benjo, Tim Godfrey, and Samuel Kusu. Happy birthday! I am singing, I love you, Bucky. May God be with you till the end of time. May he say well done to you. So ladies and gentlemen, I said it's indeed a feeling of joy, a great joy to be here to celebrate the enigmatic and iconic Bashar Daily Momodu. A second phase of the party continued with comedian and compare TA conducting proceedings with more virtual performances from Waka Queen Salawa Beni and Sir Shino Peters. <laughs> Bye. 
The cutting of the cake was also conducted virtually by the publisher of these day newspapers, Prince Ndokao Baidmina. To the glory of God and the evergreen life of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and the evergreen life of Dele Momodu. Thank you very much. The chairman of United Bank for Africa, Mr. Tony Lumelu, then took over proceedings with a toast. Anyone. If you ventured into politics and ran for the highest office, for me, I felt that was very daring because of the kind of politics we practice in Nigeria, two major political parties. How did you think Nigerians were ready for the real change? And um, for you, considering that the platform you were coming from wasn't really, didn't have that structure, and in terms of resources, you can't compare that to the other two major political parties. How, what gave you that conviction that Nigerians were ready for that kind of change you wanted to bring? Number one, I will confess to the fact that I was naive, I was simplistic, and uh, probably overconfident. And my confidence came from the emergence of Barack Obama in America. I felt, oh, the young people of Nigeria, we have about 70% youth population and that the young people, they, they've always complained that they don't want the old order again, they want the old men to vacate power. So, and I believe that the first thing you need in politics is all called visibility. I was very visible. I was about 50 years old when I started campaigning. That was one. Number two, I felt that they were tired of the two leading political parties at that time. That was also an error of judgment. The lesson I learned from that is that you cannot win election unless you get the ticket of either of the two leading parties. So if ever I will contest again, it means I have to be, I don't know what parties will exist then, but presently it will have to be PDP or APC. But then I went to Labour Party thinking that I could galvanize all, all the workers of Nigeria into Labour. So that way, one, we won't need to depend on the money of any rich man. If you have a worker's platform, then you can deduct money every month from every worker in Nigeria. That will run into billions. So that way, you're the candidate of the Workers' Party or Labour Party or whatever you call it, will not need to depend on seeking donations from the, uh, the big pockets. Now, that was again an error of judgment. Uh, by the time I moved from Labour, I moved to the National Conscience Party where I contested eventually uh, I didn't have enough firepower. Do you, are you thinking of um, trying again? I don't think so. I, I, the, the complexity, except I am drafted by one of the leading political parties. You see, for now, there is no ideological difference between the parties. That is why it's very easy for politicians to crisscross. Today you are in APC, tomorrow you are in PDP, tomorrow you are back in APC, then tomorrow you are back in PDP. So Nigeria has not reached that stage where you have the ideolo ideological... Uh, positioning. So what I, I mean by that is that I'm not going to go and waste my time, waste my resources. I'd rather concentrate on what I'm doing right now. But not, who knows tomorrow? Nobody knows. Well, before we rounded off the interview, the celebrant took us on a tour in his library, the kitchen, if you will, where most of his creative works are cooked. See some of the great men and women I've met. I can see Dora Kuyili, my very dear sister. God uh, bless her so. Oba The president? Yes, Buari. Yes, former Emir of Kano. Okay. Yes, Bill Clinton is there, the former president of Ghana. Uh, the Ashanti King of Ghana, President George Bush. 
that's the former Vice President Atiku Abubakar, former President of uh, South Africa, Jacob Zuma, the Awujale of Jebuland, Her Majesty the Queen. Uh, we have uh, Absalami Abubakar, the, the former Head of State. <laughs> He may not have celebrated the way he had planned, but one thing is however certain, that Bashonro Ayobami Dele Momodu is a fulfilled man who would like a tiger wear his stripes ever so proudly for all to see. Now here is to many more years of celebrations. <laughs>